here we're at this big dam here on Lewis Lake. And this is the inside part here we're showing. Got the water coming down out of the different areas. Got the bird flying in. So it's a cool place. This is so cold, the water is so cold here. Well, I say, welcome back everybody from YouTube. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where we're at Lewis Lake. This is the dam at the end of Lewis Lake. This lake is huge. Uh, if you look at it on the map here in Alabama, it's just up from Jasper. And this is the inside part of it. I'm hanging on to my phone like a death grip because if I drop it, I will never see it again. Now they said there were some big catfish in here. Uh, I have not seen anything yet. They said they just saw them. But this is a cool place. Cool place to come just check out. You can get tours uh, if you call ahead. Tours of the hydro dam, the hydroelectric, where they generate it. Right now, I talked to the guy, they're not generating electricity because of not enough water. And it's regulated because if you look at the, how this dam is set up, there is a lot of people on this dam. So, you know, he said as I talked to him, a foot either way, People are calling them, saying, hey, what's going on? I can imagine that because of their docks going up and down and that. But um, this is a cool place. Uh, they stock this here with trout. Uh, because the water being so cold, it can support the trout. Because it's coming out about, uh, he said, about 100 feet or so underneath the lake is where the water is coming out of. So... This is a real cool place. You have to come down and check it out. I'll get you a better video when we get out. I was trying to see if these catfish would come back up, but I don't see them. Because I wanted to get a video of them. They said these things were huge. About five foot long. I don't see them. So, well, if I see them, I'll pull them back on if they really do come out. Now here's out a little farther from the plant. You can Lewis Smith Dam, Alabama Power Company. You can see it up there. Thank you. There's the little part of the dam from the lake. And here's like the walkway that you can come down. That's back where we were. You look down there. I think we can go down farther. Let's see here. I'll bring it back up. There's the bottom end of it. There. Oh, the dam, they let this tube here is what they, they stock us with trout every so often in here when people come and fish. I'll get you another little farther away and we'll get closer. So here's the top part of Lewis Smith Dam. And here's some information facts about it. It was 1957 when it was built. And this is the Lewis, right near Jasper. The Warrior River is what feeds it. The area is 2,100 acres. There's all the information about it. So I'd recommend it if you're able to get in there to, to check this out. Well, here's the top of the dam. There you here. And there's the inlet. It's a nice clear lake. So here's the top of it, of Lewis Lake. It comes down to a small area where the lake is huge. And you can see that there is houses on it all over. Nice dock. Dock your boat or have, or even if you want to come out here and fish. So this is the top part 
of Lewis Lake. And over there, I've seen some people over that way swimming. But it would be nice swimming because it's a nice clean lake. So I'll show you the trout's fishing area here in a little bit, and then we'll finish up with this. I'll show you the paper that it shows for where the trout fish on the bottom half. So we'll be back. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hey, to finish up this with Smith Lake, uh, below the lake and the dam there, they have like four different areas. Well, there's some more, about seven different areas there where you can trout fish below Smith Lake Dam. So I just wanted to show you there. It's not too far from it in different locations. And they uh, regularly, uh, they regularly put trout in there. So if you ever get to Smith Lake around Alabama uh, area, that's above Jasper, Alabama, I highly recommend you coming down here and checking this out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope somebody maybe gets some gets to come here and see this place. It's an interesting place, so if you're ever going to around Jasper, Alabama, look this up. Like I'll have a good day, and every day that you're up and walking, it's a good day. Take care, everybody.